In this film we're going to look at the problem of tyres not seating properly um, and I'll show you a few trade secrets to solve those problems. So um, if a tyre doesn't seat properly what you'll notice is you'll put the pressure in the tyre as normal but the tyre won't be true. You'll have a big lump in it or it will run crooked. Um, this wheel is perfectly true but you can see we've got a good five or six millimeter variation in the tire. If we try to ride a tire like this, um, you'll feel a bump as you ride and cornering will be very dodgy because when the bike's banked over at an angle, it will be lifting and falling on that bump. So um, that could be quite dangerous. Also, the tire has the possibility of lifting off of the rim and then you'll get an explosive puncture when the inner tube escapes. So we've got to avoid that. So we want this tire to seat nice and straight to be true to the rim within a couple of millimeters. So there are several ways of doing this. First of all, um, the, the first thing to try is over pressurizing the tire. Now, I would never recommend grossly over inflating a tire. That could be dangerous, especially if the rim is worn because you could blow the side out of the wheel rim. So if your rims are in good condition and not too worn, you can go quite a bit beyond the manufacturer's recommended uh, maximum inflation pressure just to get the tyre to seat. So if the maximum pressure is 125, you might try going to 150 or 160 and listen for a snap noise and that will be the tyre's bead settling into the bead seat on the rim. So that's the first thing that can be tried. When pressurising the tyre, even if we're only taking it up to the, the standard pressure, if we're not over pressurising it, run your hands all the way around and just make sure the bead of the tyre is sat into the bead seat of the rim. So just pinch it all the way around and make sure it's not hanging out like it is there. If that fails, um, the next method is to use a lubricant to help the tyre's bead settle into the bead seat on the rim. The first thing we can try is the good old talcum powder. So we remove the inner tube from the tyre. Uh, we liberally um, cover it in talcum powder, rub it in a bit, refit the tyre, we could refit the inner tube. We could shake a little bit of talcum powder inside the tyre as well. And that just makes a lubricant so that everything can move and settle in properly and we, we really want to make sure we get talcum powder between the um, the tyre bead and the bead seat in the rim. So just sprinkle some in, refit the tyre as normal, reinflate it to the maximum recommended pressure, hopefully the tyre will settle straight. If that doesn't work, our um, final method that we can use is a liquid lubricant and for that we use washing up liquid. So put some washing up liquid in a little jar, get yourself a paintbrush and I'll demonstrate this. We let the tyre right down, let all the pressure out so that we can separate the tyre from the rim and then we paint washing up liquid inside. We do it on both sides and we go all the way round. Then when we reinflate the tyre and again go to the, the maximum recommended pressure, you should hear the tyre snap into place and when you spin it, it should be perfectly true. Um, if all of these methods fail, it's a case of taking the tyre back because there may be a problem with it. But uh, generally, it's just a case of the tyre not seating properly into um, the bead seat on the rim. This, is, this is a, can be a particular problem with open tubular type tires which use um, a, a belt construction so effectively the tire is completely flat. It doesn't have a rounded shape to it until it's inflated and those can be difficult to seat. Um, but talcum powder, uh, washing up liquid and over inflation, slight over inflation should solve the problem.